Hi, yeah, me again. I'm Laura from Cherub's Chalks Interiors. I'm just popping on as I'm impatient as ever. Um, I know I said to you this morning when I came on and did the stenciling on the drawer sides that I'd be coming on and finishing them off over the next few days. Um, I then went out to work. I've come back and I'm bored. There's no one in the house. Um, so I thought I'm going to do it now. So I thought I might as well pop on and show you what I'm doing whilst I'm doing it and see what you think. So as you can see, I've already just sort of tested on this one. I don't know how well you can see, but let me try and show you. So I've already done this one. Can you see where it looks sort of, especially, so I've put the Dixie Dirt in these grooves. So you can see where it sort of looks dirty. If you can see the ones behind, the detailing doesn't show up very well. So I've highlighted it with a Dixie Dirt and then around the edges, I mean it's quite subtle I suppose what I've done around the edges, um, but I've put this grunge grey Bestang Wax, again just to age it and make it look nice. Hi Connie, I'm back, <laughs> I couldn't wait, I just wanted to get on and do it, so, so this is what we did this morning. It's all nice and dry now and then I waxed over the top of it um, but yeah so I'm just here to do the waxing the Dixie Dirt and I'll put the grey wax on and finish off basically and then I just need to do the handles and then we can so you can't see me can you <laughs> I'm just chatting um, yeah and then I can finish it off and get it staged photographed and get it up for sale so let me know if you're interested and you can uh, grab it before anyone else gets the chance I'm all hot and bothered because I've been out at work. It's hot today, again. I try not to moan too much about the heat because I know most of you enjoy it. I can't wait to get my fire on. I like the winter idea. I like to get all nice and cosy with my fire on and uh, snuggled up. Hi everyone. Okay, so can you see what I'm doing? If you can't see anything, then just give me a shout. I'm just trying to get the best the best way so you can see what I'm, what's going on. Right, let me show you what I've got. So first of all, I'm gonna be putting on Dixie Bell's Best Dang Wax in clear. So that's just a clear one there. That's just to go on, really just to sort of create a base for what I'm gonna be doing. Well, let me put that on now and then I can show you the rest of it because this all needs to sort of tack up. I have got my wax brush. I'll start with that. So, say hi if you're watching. Tell me where you're watching from. I really love this colour as well. I know I keep saying it, but I like, I like something with a bit of colour. I don't mind painting in blacks, greys, you know, occasionally, but I do like to, to get a bit of colour going. I've got lots of different projects lined up. Um, I'm trying to decide a colour for a chest of drawers. Um, I might, I don't know what colour to do because I'm not too sure whether it's going to go up for sale or whether I want them in my bedroom. Um, I might put them up and ask you for your advice if anyone has any ideas at some point. But then again, if they're going in my bedroom, then they've got a kind of... I don't know. I don't know what to do. Also, because I, as I mentioned, I might be moving house. So I suppose I could just paint them any colour and then just adapt my bedroom <laughs> to the colour that I painted them. Who knows? Hi, Connie. Herbie is watching and he said, Oh, she's doing a good job on those drawers. Oh, bless. Hi, Herbie. Hi, yeah. Thank you. I'm trying my best to do a good job. Let's see. Right. So I've put that on. I'm just going to wipe off the excess with my cloth. There we go. Ooh, I'm making my whole table rattle around and I've got my drink over there. Hopefully I won't knock it off, but knowing me, I'm very clumsy. Just want to get a little bit more on my brush and then into these grooves because that's where I want the Dixie Dirt to be picked up. 
Is she real? I am real, Herbie. I'm not a robot. I see there's quite a few of you watching. Say hi. Tell me what you think of this colour. Right, so. Put that in there. Get that out. So, got the Dixie dirt here. Oh, I need to move you back a bit. There we go. Is that a bit better? Yeah, so you can get this in different colours. I'm not actually sure what the other colours are. This one is Earth, and so it's obviously like a brownie colour. Um, I think there might be like a more black colour and then maybe a lighter colour, but don't quote me on that. I need to have a look. I'm going to order some more, actually, because I do enjoy using this, but obviously it lasts forever, because have a look. I've used this on a project already, and there's just so much in there. And you only use the tiniest bit, so... It's beautiful, like you. <laughs> He's cute. Herbie, I like you. You're cute. I bet you're a little a little trouble monster for your mum as well. <laughs> right, so let me show you what I'm doing. So I think... That's... Yeah, that's fine. So I've just got I've just got a little makeup brush again. As you'll see, I use this all the time. I've just dipped it in. Just, oh, see this is me, I get messy. Oh well. So I try not to spill it everywhere like I do. And then, if you can see, I'm just going to brush it on lightly along all these details and just pick up more as you go. Looks like there's a helicopter or something about this. What's going on there? Right. <laughs> He's gone shy, has he gone? <laughs> oh dear. And if he's shy and quiet, it might give you some peace for a few minutes. <laughs> Herbie, how's school? Have you been enjoying it? The little boy that I work with has just started school this week. He might even be watching this if he is. Hi, Ted. <laughs> I went to work this morning and my boss said, we've just been watching your video. And I was like, you're not allowed to watch my video. If you know me, I don't want you watching my video. It's too embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> everyone keeps saying oh I watched a video this morning it was great and I'm there cringing I don't know why I don't like I don't like my face being being out there but like I say I've got to get used to it it's not too bad he said it's beautiful <laughs> thanks Herbie I really appreciate it right so as you can see I've put it on that line I've also made a mess but that doesn't matter because I can wipe it all off cloth again. <laughs> Herbie, I need you around here more often if you're going to keep calling me beautiful. <sighs> Look at me making a mess again. Right, so I'm just going to get into here and just wipe off because it's a powder and it'll just sit on top. I just want to get rid of most of it. Typically, the other drawer went really well this morning because I did that by myself and it was fine. This one I've made a right mess on. So, normally I'm a mess with myself, I drop things on myself and that, but the furniture's genuinely normally alright. Right. I've just wiped my little fingernail in there and just sort of wiping off the excess and let me get the rest of that off because we don't want that sticking too much. Hi guys. Didn't know if this would be a good time to come on. I don't know if everyone's travelling back from work. As if people are travelling to work these days, I don't know. Oh, I can't move that because I'm literally going to spill it everywhere and then that will not be good. Right, I'm just going over here with the clear wax on the bits that I don't want the 
the Dixie Dirt where I've made a mess. I'm just sort of wiping it back off with the wax. Fine. Clean bits of my rag. I've not got much battery left on my phone. Should be alright. Lisa, what time is it where you are? Well, I'm in the UK um, and it's 20 to 6. So most people finish work between 5 and 6 ish, so they'll be on their way home. I should imagine. What about you? Where are you and what time is it? I think it's funny that people can watch from all across the world. Right. I'm so excited to get these finished. Okay, so as I said, I did this really quickly and easily this morning with no problem. And now I'm showing you it's not going quite to plan but that's always the way like I'll be driving around with something a noise on my van or something and it'll be winding me up and it'll do it every time and then I'll take it to my dad because my dad's a mechanic and I'll say dad I've got this noise every time I go around the corner we'll do this or we'll do that makes this noise so he goes out in it and comes back no I didn't hear a noise <laughs> always the way right I'm just putting a little bit more wax in here because I want it to really grab hold of my Dixie Dirt. Okay. Right, where have I put it? Lisa, it's only lunchtime here in the United States. 12.35. Wow, gosh. Yeah, you are behind us. Whereabouts in the States are you, Lisa? I want to come and visit. I, um, I went to Florida a few years ago. And oh, I just want to go and explore some different places. My mum and dad went to Montana last year. And the pictures they showed me of that was amazing. I'd love to go there. I want to go on a road trip. Right, so. From Boston, but live in Florida now. Oh, wow, nice. What's the weather like over there at the moment? It's hot here, but I don't know when it's going to turn. I'm sure we'll be in for some rain soon. I think when I went to Florida, I went around, I went in October and it was really hot. I normally go away for my birthday. My birthday is only in a couple of weeks. But what with everything going on, um, I think I'm going to stay home and just celebrate if we can. I don't know. Who knows what's going on? Right. I'm just gonna be, rather than rubbing it back in with my cloth, put into the bits that I don't want it. There we go. 90 degrees today. Blimey. I don't know what that is in because I. I know Celsius and you do Fahrenheit, don't you? I, I don't know, but it sounds hot anyway. I can't cope with it too hot. Like I say, I like it. I like the winter. You'd love to visit the UK or well, come then. Come and have a look around and see what we have to offer. There are some lovely parts in the UK. I was in Wales, was it last weekend? Losing track or well, the weekend before. I love Wales. Hi Nikki, you alright? I'm just showing some Dixie dirt. Have you used it? I've waxed, I've put the Dixie dirt on, I'm just rubbing off the excess, although, and this is the beauty of it, you can just keep going back and adding more if you want. Put more in there. <sighs> so messy. Like 
not used it yet, have it ready for the right project. What colour have you got it in? Have you got it in the same one as me? Earth? Or, because I want to know, I know there was a couple of other colours and I can't remember what they were. I I um, bought that Dixie Dirt ages ago when I first started using Dixie Belle and I can't remember what other colours I've got. Right, so I think that's about done with the Dixie Dirt. But again, I can always come back and have more later if need if needs be. So I've done the Dixie Dirt and I'm going to go around with the Grunge Grey Wax on the edges. You've got Earth and Ash. Ah, so Earth's the same as mine and then Ash must be the dark one. That sounds fun. I want to I wanna have a go with the other colours. Oh, is Ash? Oh, so it's the paler one. Yeah, I see. But there is a dark one, isn't there? I'm not sure what that's called. Um, right, this is what I'm doing. So as you can see, I've already used this, but there's barely any gone. It's a nice grey. So just again, I've just got a little brush for this one. I'm just going to wipe it on around the edges. don't want loads on I'll wipe it off afterwards anyway but um I just want this bit to be subtle you love the waxes from Dixie Bell so do I they're so easy to use I need to get more of them I've got this grunge grey I've got the clear and I've got the black I know this probably looks crazy what I'm doing right now if, you, if you're not a painter. Charcoal is the dark one, is it? Ah, okay. I'm going to order the other two, I think, because I do really like them. Just gives a bit of a different look. Obviously, if I'm looking for this sort of effect, normally I'd go with wax to do it, but I actually really like the, the Dixie Dirt. I think it's more authentic, maybe. See more people popping on there. Hiya. Uh... Right, so I'm wiping it on. I'm wiping it off. <laughs> Let's see. So I'm not really leaving much on when I wipe it off. I just want it to have a real vintage age to look about it because it is a vintage piece I don't like it the whole freshly painted look I like it to be a bit more grungy well I suppose it depends on the piece okay. um, and the style that I'm going for the style of the piece sometimes a nice clean fresh look is needed sometimes it's nicer Go with something like this. So, I don't know if you can see, I say the lighting is not perfect in here, but compared to what that looked like to begin with, looks nice and aged now. As I said this morning, I wasn't sure what I was going to be doing with the the hardware, but actually now I've done that, I've obviously got the three big drawers to do and the body. Um, I'll carry on doing that tonight. Actually, I quite like the patina on the hardware. Now, it's really dirty and I don't know what it will come up like when I clean it, because obviously it all needs a damn good clean. Um, but if it looks anything like that, just a bit cleaner and nicer and fresher, um, I think that's going to look really cool. Because it will just go with the, uh, the vintage look and I like them. So, let's see, I'll get them cleaned up. I'm gonna carry on with the wax in now and then at some point I suppose I'd better go in and do some house jobs and have some dinner and maybe even relax at some point. I'm not very good at that. Um, so I might not get around to cleaning these and putting these on until tomorrow. What day is it tomorrow? Friday, I'm back at work in the afternoon. Um, 
So I should have this finished hopefully by Saturday. So you can all see, obviously I've been showing you the process. Um, anybody got any questions? If you do, then just drop them in the comments and I'll, um, if you're watching on replay or anything, and I can answer when I get a chance. So I was just taking up a little bit of the grey wax there by rubbing some clear wax on because it just didn't look quite right where it was sitting. So yeah, put that one back in there. As you can see, there's just detailing all over the piece. It's lovely. So I'm going to be doing all this all around the edges, all down the sides, um, yeah, the bottoms. And I'll show you as soon as I can, as soon as it's done. Thank you for watching with me. It's been fun. <laughs> if not a little bit nerve-wracking. But, as I say, I'm getting used to these lives. So I really appreciate your support and everybody who's watching made a mess as per usual but yeah there we go that's what I've got to so far so I've censored all the drawer sides painted all of the insides I've done those two top drawers and I'll carry on and then let me see if I can show you I've got stuff everywhere this is the old chest of drawers I'm talking about this is getting picked up from my way that's there but look look how beautiful they are they're taller than me i mean they are on skateboards <laughs> but i love them i really want to keep them they're huge i'd fit loads of clothes in there <laughs> they're so nice i don't know what color to do them i'll just keep changing my mind hmm. any ideas connie what color would you paint them i'm so indecisive <laughs> <laughs> I won't show you around the rest of it because it's a mess. I think you should give those drawers to me. No, Connie, they're mine, all mine. I'm keeping them, I think. We'll see. I need to get these ones finished first anyway. And then I've got another piece to do. I've got to send that wardrobe off. Monday, that one's going. Right. Want to cut green and then give them me. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. I love you, but I don't love you that much. Right, I am gonna go. They're so pretty. Thank you, Lisa. They are. Oh, and the handles. I'll show you the handles. Sorry, I'm just obsessed. Look, I've got you on tripods. This is difficult. Look how lovely the handles are. They're like little star flowers. <sighs> I'll dream about them tonight. I wanted to do them pink. I wanted to do them in Dixie Belle's tea rose. Um, but I don't know, that won't go in my bedroom really. So <laughs> I've got to decide whether or not I'm keeping them and then I'll decide what colour. Anyway, I'm really going to go because I'm just this is just dragging on and I'm just boring you all to death. So I'm really going to go now and carry on with this because I want to get them done. And I'll show you them when they're done. And then I'm sure I'll find another project to show you another day. All right. Speak to you all soon. Have a nice evening. Bye.